a YouTube channel called Adventure with Hodge goes on an urban exploration of an abandoned factory and it turns out to be one of the scariest places he has ever explored. Something feels wrong with the creepy location from the very start and they begin to wonder if this place is really abandoned after all. Scary, not gonna lie. The basement feels downright spooky with only one flashlight between them. The urban explorers are too scared to venture far, especially when they discover a creepy message spelling out their fate. You're in his home. Wonderful. I don't like that at all. We just decided to go back in the basement with this hurt home. That was loud. On the basement floor is another haunting discovery in the form of an abandoned jacket. Why would someone leave their jacket down here, Hodge wonders. I personally couldn't help but notice it's kid sized and this is certainly no place for a child. Someone scary must have taken them to this horrible location. Someone twisted and deranged. The two friends are beyond creeped out but at the same time curious enough to go exploring past the creepy warning on the wall. Bad decision. It's time to go. Time to go. Okay, we're gone. We're gone. We're gone. We're gone. We're gone. We're gone. I'm sorry. Somewhere in the darkness, a heavy object falls over, and the loud, scary noise they capture on tape makes them cry out in surprise and run away while apologizing. This part deserves a closer analysis because it's scary stuff indeed. They are exploring the middle of the basement, nothing within arm's reach. When an unseen object either crashes or is thrown to the ground, Hodge is holding the camera and you can see his friend's elbow right before the scary noise is caught on video, so he's standing too close. Whatever caused this unexplained event can't be them. Plus, listen to how he later describes this creepy encounter caught on tape. Majority of the video, we were exploring the basement of this abandoned factory. We kept hearing noises, felt like something was following us, and lo and behold, something followed us and we were chased out the basement. I see no signs that he's lying, no deceit in his eyes, only enthusiasm at the thought of having a scary and maybe even paranormal encounter caught on tape, so I believe this creepy video is as real as he says. Exploring with Josh is a YouTube channel dedicated to taking a closer look at all sorts of frightening locations. This time they decide to check out an abandoned school that is reportedly the source of black magic rituals. Pentagrams spray painted on the wall give them a general feeling of unease all around as they make their way deeper into the building. They feel watched at times and are worried about coming across someone at any given moment. I notice some sort of strange ephemeral smoke follows them throughout the video. It's visible in two different scenes. The first time happens about five minutes in. You see some? Damn, this is spooky. Hopefully we don't run into anything crazy. Then it happens again here roughly a minute and a half later. Yeah, this one's a little bit scary. If we hear anything, let's just... The strange smoke is definitely not their breath because it only happens twice instead of throughout the entire video. Coincidentally, the smoke appears as soon as they sense that something is nearby. As if that weren't enough, they have another random paranormal encounter that is much more blatant. Oh my f***ing god, did you get that on tape? That is insane. I don't see any block light around the door frame to indicate one of their friends was on the other side. In fact, it doesn't look like the door even has a knob to use. There just doesn't seem to be any plausible reason for this door to open on its own. A YouTuber named Joey Concialdi is joking around with his friend when he pretends to dive under the covers to be silly. As he is doing so, the thin bizarre outline of a scrawny shadow person is seen behind him for a split second and by the time he comes back up it's gone. Joey is certain that this ghost sighting is real, but I'm wondering if it was just the banister seen a few seconds later. It looks to be in a different position and not as dark, and therefore probably was not it. On a trip to Thailand, YouTuber DDoc Michael skipped the beaches and instead spent his holiday exploring this intensely haunted house. Upon entering, he hears whispers. <sighs>
He continues his exploration but is scared off by another voice. Still, he stays. As his search goes on, he hears another noise. Who are you? And at last, he sees what's making it. The stranger in the abandoned place is ready to throw down. Who are, who are, who are you? Hey. Michael runs off, thankfully escaping unharmed. To me, this just goes to show that live humans are often scarier than spirits. The Sorel Weed House is said to be one of the most haunted buildings in all of Savannah, Georgia. Two different women have met their end here, one of them named Matilda, who is said to still roam the courtyard in her black dress. While taking a tour of the area, a YouTuber named Billy Smith captures this quick video of a woman fleeing the house, wearing an all-black corset. What's weird is how she never actually opens the front door to her left. Instead, she appears out of nowhere to cross the space between two columns, and then does emerge from the other side. According to Billy, this figure was heading in the opposite direction of the parking lot, so if they were a staff member, they would have to double around to get to their car eventually. He waited until 1.30 in the morning and saw no one else from the house for the rest of the night and certainly no other traces of her. Shared in the subreddit Paranormal Videos, this now deleted user picked up a disembodied voice on her dog cam, speaking a foreign language, have a listen. Did you hear that? The Redditor notes that the camera was placed on the mantle, and there's nothing behind the camera but the chimney. Some of the comments note that both of the dogs are looking at something in the room, and one of them looks terrified. The voice sounds almost like it's hissing in the end. I'm not sure what's going on here, if this is paranormal or there's someone in the home, but I do think I'd be setting up more cameras after hearing this. Not only do you have to worry about pyrotechnic incidents at work, you might have to worry about ghosts as well. YouTuber Joey Nike 12 posted this video of a store he claims is haunted in Kingsville. At the beginning of the video, he tells a co-worker, let's go record that room, before heading to the haunted room in question. They set a video camera up to record the purportedly paranormal activity that occurs in this room. About three minutes into the footage, you can see a dustpan move ever so slightly, and then not ever so slightly. It falls over and a moment later, the door next to it slams closed. The boys re-enter the room nonchalantly, not knowing the strangeness that has just occurred there. But after coming across this video that went too far, they may not want to enter this haunted storage room ever again. If you're going to enter an abandoned hospital, you better have some patience because you might just come across some squatters. Ruin Road published this footage in April of 2017 writing, Sketchiest Encounter Yet. The footage was taken at United Community Hospital, an abandoned hospital in Detroit, Michigan. Even approaching the building is haunting. Regardless, the team heads inside, and it looks just about how you'd imagined it. Hollowed out graffiti on every surface, water dripping from who knows where. As they explore the abandoned hospital, they find graffiti with an arrow pointing down some stairs. They head down to find a long, creepy room, the morgue. 
but it isn't until later in their exploration that they shine their flashlight and camera into a room and hear a voice. Hi. It grunts and the YouTuber responds with a hi and then quickly turns to leave. Their pace quickens to a double step and then a run as whomever they just encountered seems to be in hot pursuit. We're getting out of here right now, the cameraman says. Downstairs and outside in the much less creepy light of day, the cameraman is called over by another man and given a lecture about how he's trespassing on this site. Apparently, the man who they'd run into on the second floor of the building was watching this exchange from above and yelled down to the man on the ground, you're not supposed to be here either. The man on the ground, who claims to be a worker, then proceeds to offer the YouTuber a tour of the building for a little cash. The worker claims that they're redeveloping the building, knocking down walls but keeping the steel frame intact. I'd have to agree with the consensus in the comments of this video that El Toro was not in fact a security guard or a worker. A bag of teeth discovered in a kitchen cupboard? You don't have to be a dentist for this to be your worst nightmare. Published to YouTube in April of 2020 by I Am Shook, a husband and wife found a baggie of around 20 teeth in a kitchen cupboard at their home in China, which sent them down a nightmare rabbit hole. The wife found them while cleaning and discovered her husband had put them there, assuming they were preservatives. Jumping to the macabre, the woman suggested that someone might have taken them from a lifeless body, but the truth turned out to be a bit less horrifying, even if still entirely creepy. When the mysterious bag was examined by a dentist, he confirmed that they were human teeth, to be more specific baby teeth, all from the same person. Judging by the shape of the pair of molars, he suggested that they were probably corrected to record the child's growth, although that might seem more reassuring. Then the teeth of someone who had passed away, the couple doesn't have children, nor have they had visitors here, so the mystery of where these teeth came from remained. The only theories they could come up with was that the bag of baby teeth somehow had gotten mixed up in a bag of roasted seaweed that the husband had been unpacking and organizing in the cupboard or that they'd been accidentally taken home during a recent dentist visit. However, the most likely theory was that the baggie of teeth may have been left behind by a previous tenant, and this was in fact exactly what happened. Although the baby teeth mystery may be solved, what remains is still creepy. A baggie full of teeth. I first heard about 30 East Drive in Pantafrac through YouTuber Shadow Man. It's said to be haunted by a somewhat evil entity named Fred or the Black Monk. Many have explored the haunted location in the UK, and here's some of the best captures in this home. The first short one comes from YouTuber Thomas Matthew, who captured a door closing. That's it, that's it. Push the door, yeah. Well done. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. This next video is even creepier. JDH Spooks Paranormal captured a mysterious hand. It's not your left one. It's not your left one. It's there. This video from Christopher Chell shows a paranormal device rolling off of a chair. Yeah. Hey, so we've got a cat ball on the chair. No one's in the room. You suddenly get your light up. Real lot. We've been sat on that chair for a good while, but nothing should affect it. Purple Bee Paranormal recorded this video where the broken radio suddenly revives itself. You're the radio. It's the radio, come in. You mean the radio don't work? It's bloody singing to itself. But this last clip tops them all. Lee Brady shares this footage that was filmed by the property's cleaner, Dara B. I have just seen something. I have just seen something. Right, that's it. I'm off down. I can't take them all. I am off frigging down.
This piece of evidence really hit it home for me. I'm entirely convinced that 30 East Drive is 100% haunted. And if this is the ghost known as Fred, I don't want to know. I think it's time to get the heck out of there. When Joey Salvatore and his friends learn that their entire neighborhood is rumored to be haunted, they go to the local cemetery and try to get something on tape. They don't really find much and eventually come back home, but it looks like something found them and managed to attach itself to a friend named Roger. Now, he is standing motionless with his back to them in a dark room, and they are too freaked out to do anything more than secretly record his reflection in a mirror. After a while, he sits down and stops moving completely, so they decide to put Roger in his room and check on him later. Roger is nowhere to be found, at least not at first. Wait, turn the light on. <gasps> what the fuck? Roger! I'm the they are totally freaking out when Roger comes wandering back into the room completely fine, wondering what had happened. The group feels unsafe at this point and has no choice but to send Roger on his way. Eventually, Roger says that he was just playing a joke on them, but it's unclear if he really means it or if he is just in denial. Archie Dennis is the name of a Philadelphia man who lives in what he believes is an extremely haunted home. He and his family have been dealing with whatever's down there for more than seven years. It's all well documented on their YouTube channel. I encourage you to watch all the evidence for yourself. But for now, Chills has picked out some videos to help get you started. Ones that make me the most curious. This early encounter takes place on May 17th, 2013. Back when he was less used to it and more afraid. Arky is looking down the steps when something on his spirit box encourages him to go in there, followed by a mysterious phrase in another language that I need your help to translate. You are demon. You are a demon. Arky says down the steps. It sounds like a statement, but it's actually a question. Something he has always wanted to know. It never says anything back, but this time it does show a sign that yes, it is one indeed. Are you a demon? The light turns on behind him, even though he is nowhere near the switch, and it continues to do so as he films in stunned amazement. Who are you? Say your name. Suddenly, his cats rush up the steps like they are running away from something. Though I suspect they could have been chasing each other. He crosses the room at 1 minute and 48 seconds. The lights seem to move on their own while an orb also comes close. It can't be him moving the lights because one hand is on the camera and the other is flipping the switch to no avail. I was thinking that maybe somebody was controlling the real light switch from the other room. But at 1 minute and 58 seconds, the light seems to glow even brighter than before. And he sounds noticeably upset as he steps away. Oh man. His fear has probably emboldened the spirit and things have gone way too far if you ask me. He should leave it by now, but day after day, Arki continues to ask the spirit if it was a demon whenever he thinks it's near, pestering it with the same question for weeks on end. Finally, on December 16th, 2014, it gives a clear response, and I'm talking more than a simple yes or no. The way it answers in a full sentence exactly five seconds after being asked is all about the paranormal proof I need to conclude this is real. But I haven't even shown you the weirdest video yet. By October 12th of 2019, the spirit has moved out of the basement and seems fixated with his children. The EMF meter is relatively normal until it passes over his crib, and I think we might be seeing a possession in real time. 2.9, that's for my baby. 3.7, 3.9, 4.0, 4.8, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 
this incredible. And his newborn baby is not the only one affected. The spirit seems to hover around his daughter as well. The way it appears from behind, goes to the side, and then appears to admire her is going way too far if you ask me. I don't know why Arky hasn't moved out yet, but I suspect that he may be strangely obsessed with studying it, and at this point possibly even has become sentimental. Maybe it has gotten into his mind much like it has his family, and convinced him to let it stay. This final CCTV video is when Arky gets all of the evidence that he needs. I don't know if this is editing or not, but one day he is organizing his closet when a shadow figure stands over him and makes him cower in fear. If this last video is real, which I think it could be given everything else that's happened, then I guess it proves talking to a demon for over five years is, in fact, going way too far. A man believes the stairwell in his apartment is haunted by a creature that's not paranormal, but not human. He thinks he sees movement and says this is a still image. The image has gone viral, so I wanted to analyze the video. The video does not look nearly as convincing as the image, which is often the case because it is harder to animate than Photoshop. The figure shows a convincing lack of realistic movement as it dips back into the darkened doorway from where it came. So if you've ever seen this popular picture and were wondering what the accompanying video looked like, now you know. Sav and Jack records what they claim is a genuine 3 a.m. paranormal encounter. Sav wakes up after a bad dream with a strange urge to check on Jack. She says she is feeling some weird energy when suddenly picking up on this weird energy. Her phone picks up an eerie entity that disappears upon being discovered. Watch this part and tell me if you think it's editing. It's a little suspicious how she centers the camera perfectly on the area where the ghost is to appear moments before it happens, so some people think it might not be real. When you're playing peekaboo with the paranormal, it's never a game. Posted to the ghost video subreddit by Podcast Africa, the clip shows an urban explorer walking through an abandoned house. As he walks down the corridor, he glances in a room to his left. There's a big empty window to the room beyond, and in that window this peeks out, a shadow person or a real one. The dark shadow ducks down quickly and the explorer hurries over into the next room and finds it completely empty. So who or what is playing around here, or are they even playing? Walking down an empty hallway can sometimes send shivers all over your body, especially when the hallway looks like this. Spurg Burglar from Washington in the US uploaded this spooky video in 2016. He says that his flat is upstairs and he makes his way through this hallway in the middle of the night six days a week. The hallway in and of itself is spooky. The sound on top of it is nothing short of ominous. The noise certainly is thumping and rhythmic like music, but it's unclear what it is or where it's coming from. It gets louder as the uploader approaches the end of the hallway and the beginning of a new one. A new sound enters into the mix, like a heart pounding. While the thumping declines, the heart pounding remains. Then you hear some sort of haunting music enter in faintly before it escalates the closer he gets to the elevator. The video of the hallway also distorts a bit. Your heart races as you anticipate a jump scare from something unknown, but when he pushes the elevator button, the audio disappears. What could this possibly be? I don't know if I want to know.
Someone is watching in the woods. Published by Mr. Horror, this short clip shows a group hanging out in the forest and what looks like the ruins of an abandoned structure. As the camera turns from the surrounding trees to the building, it captures something creeping around the door frame. The mysterious figure is but a flash, and its features are indistinct. It quickly pulls out of view. The cameraman hurries forward, revealing a campfire built outside to the right. But it looks like the creature is long gone. What was it? Are they being stalked by the unknown? It sure looks that way to me. Hardly anyone wants to see a clown at the best of times. Guaranteed, no one wants to see an uninvited clown on their doorstep. Published to YouTube in August of 2019, this creepy clown is everyone's unwelcome guest. Residents of San Antonio, Texas, likely double-check their locks after video of this creepy visitor was captured on ring surveillance footage. The clown was said to be loitering outside people's homes in the middle of the day saying trick or treat. Again, it was August at the time. The ring footage captures the man wearing a clown mask approaching a home around 1 p.m. The anonymous homeowner wasn't present at the time of the clown's visit. The security video was shared to neighborhood groups, sending a collective chill down everyone's spine. Resident Ernest Marquez sums up the fear, saying, What his intentions were, I don't know. The uncertainty, the unknown is everyone's greatest fear. Hopefully this case was broken before it was too late. This video, taken in Jacksonville, Florida, and posted to YouTube by the Jacksonville Zoo, momentarily shows a gigantic dinosaur-looking creature with an impossibly long neck that stretches up to meet the roof of a nearby building. You only get to see the creature for a split second before they take off and keep running, which seems like a realistic response to me. However, since the creature does not move at all, it could be a statue or CGI. Also, the beginning of the video shows them just kind of standing around, and I really doubt something of that size could sneak up so close without anyone noticing. An unknown creature has been caught on camera in the sky of all places. What is this? What the f is this thing in the air? A stunned woman begins to question her life and her sanity upon recording a creature with tentacle-like appendages flapping about in mid-air. She's parked on the far end of a not-so-busy lot, so that explains the general lack of other witnesses. I'm pretty sure this creature sighting's not real, because this is the only video I could find of it. It would be hard to miss a giant creature wiggling in the skyline like this, so you would think there would be more. My best guess is they've superimposed video of a jellyfish or some other deep sea creature over the sky to create this monster, but I'm not a special effects expert so who knows. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.